Hey everybody, it's Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and today we're going to take a look at a game called Chicken! Chicken is a game from Keymaster Games. Plays, what does it say? Where did I go? Where did I lose it already? Two to eight players, 10 to 20 minutes, and designed by designer Scott Alms. Tiny Epic. Those are his famous ones. I think Land land and Sea, Land, Air, and Sea. I don't know. Some big game with people fighting on a map. But he's a great designer. Designed tons of games. He's done this one. So in this game, you are... Is there a theme? Let's see. It's a lovely place, Fox Hollow, but wow, do we have some fox problems. As a farmer here, it's your job to raise the chickens while avoiding the foxes. And you're raising chickens so you can earn 25 points, just like real life. Yeah, I don't know. But this is a little push your luck game. You're going to be chucking some dice, a small dice pool that's going to turn into a big dice pool. You're trying to get a bunch of chickens before you roll three foxes and bust and lose all of your points for the round. That's it. Let's go down to the table. Check it out. All right, so here's a game of chicken. All set up for two players. Now, setup is extremely easy. You're going to take everything out of this case here, container. Put the mat on the table. Four white dice to the first player, which in this case is poop. This poop token. Um, put the rest of the dice in rows of, you know, like this. And then put the player tokens, which is the poop and the tractor, on the space and you're ready to play. This game is super simple. What you're trying to do is you're trying to roll chickens, which look like that, to score points. And you don't want to roll three wool foxes. Yeah, foxes, or you bust. Race to 25 points. That's it. There's a little more to it. We'll get into it as we're playing. So poop is first. That's why they're in the front. So poop is rolling. So they roll two blanks and two chickens. Any chickens and wo uh, foxes you get, you set aside. So let's do that, I'll do that. And then you can get one reroll on your turn. So I'll reroll. And I have an egg. So what that does is it hatches into another die. And that's my turn. So I have two chickens, I score two points. Then it goes to the tractor's turn. They're gonna take all these dice and they have a choice before they get started. They can roll all these dice and just have at it more dice, more opportunities to hit foxes. Or they can chicken out, which means they lose a point. All non-white dice go back to the coop, and then you roll, take your turn as normal. But they're just going to keep going. They get There's only five dice, not a big deal. So they'll roll. Ooh, two more, two more dice coming in. Um, we have two chickens, so we'll sit those off to the side here. And then I'll re-roll these. Ooh, two foxes, that's okay. But we get another egg. And this player scores two chickens. All right, back to poop. I want to put whoever's turn it is on top. So poop's turn. They're not going to chicken out. They're just going to keep rolling. So they have chicken, 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 chicken. So they have four chickens and a fox. Two eggs, so we're going to hatch two. And I think I'm going to roll one more time. Another fox, another chicken another hatch so I have five chickens so poop scores five points all right now all the dice except for one are in play so farmer may want to chicken out but it only has two points so what's the why care you know why do it now let's roll so we're gonna roll all these this will be Fox Fox and Fox busted busted so when you bust all the dice go back to the middle, to the coop. You get no points, your turn is over, and it goes to the other player's turn. So now it's Poop's turn again, Poop will roll. So they have two chickens, they're gonna hatch an egg, they'll re-roll. They have two foxes and three chickens, so they get three points. Bum, bum, bum. Back to the farmer or the tractor, they roll. They have two eggs, so that'll bring in Two of these. I have two, three chickens, and they're gonna re-roll. There's a fox, a fox, another chicken, another egg coming in. 
All right, so the farmer, the tractor, four points. Back to poop. Poop's not going to chicken out. There's no no fun in that. But they're going to get three more dice coming in, which is a little scary. And they have three chickens. And they're going to re-roll everything. And three foxes. So they busted. So all the non-white dice go back. And it will be the farmer's turn. And that's how the game's going to keep going. Just like that. Till somebody hits 25 points. And then the meat game is immediately over. And over. And that person is the winner. That's how you play chicken. Chicken! Let's go up the top. See what you think about it. Alright, well. That was chicken! Um, so. Let's talk about the components. This comes in this cool little case. Uh, fit on the shelf pretty nicely if you have room for it. So you, yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but you know you can sit on a shelf. I like the art; it's fantastic. Uh, now let's talk about the components that come inside. This mat is really cool. A little board here, just a little fabric mat. I like it; it's effective. Does what it needs to do. The dice are all custom. They have eggs chickens and foxes in three different colors all shades of orange and white and all that kind of stuff love that but the best part you saw it on the video these player tokens are fantastic there's eight different pictures some stuff i didn't show you there's this one there's a farmer poop i showed you that on the video but that's poop that's funny the windmill, that's a fantastic one. Another farmer, a lady farmer, a bull, um, a kitty, because every farm has a farm cat, and the tractor that was in the video. So those are cool. The components are fine. I mean, I don't necessarily love this tub or this cylinder thing, but whatever. It's a small game. You can just tuck it in a basket or whatever. Rule book is real simple. It's linen finish, which is strange. And it this is it. It's front and back, and the front is just set up all the instructions that you need are right here. It's super simple. What I showed you in this video is what this game is. You're chucking some dice. You're trying not to bust. Think um, zombie dice, where you're chucking some dice, trying to get br uh, more brains than shotguns. You know, if you get too many shotguns, you bust. Batman animated dice, you're trying to get a whole bunch of villain stuff before Batman shows up. Um, yeah, it's super simple. It's super fast. Um, uh, has funky art. Um, but yeah, it's, it's an okay game. This was one I was super excited about. It was on my, I think it was on my anticipated list for Origins this year. Uh, my buddy Brandon backed it. It showed up. We played it. And it was just okay. So that makes me sad because I'm a big fan of Keymaster games. I was super pumped about, oh, there's the designer right there on the bottom. Uh, I was super pumped about this one because Keymaster has a great track record. Parks, Caper, Campy Creatures, um, Parks Memories, which is a little match game. They have some fantastic games, and I thought this was going to be in that same line. But I don't really love this. It's fine. I'll play it. It's over in 10 minutes. A little filler game. So if you're interested in some dice chucking fun and some funky art, maybe give this a go. Otherwise, they're probably better games. So that is Chicken! That's the best part of this game is say chicken. So that's chicken from Keymaster Games. I'm Jason with the Wargaming Mechanics. And as always, keep gaming.